Hi, I'm Simon Croft and welcome to my home. Um, I'm going to show you, as part of this virtual tour, uh, parts of the house where I put up uh, a lot of my work. I think it's important to see it in context rather than just in a rather cluttered studio. Uh, so we're going to start down here and eventually we're going to wind our way up to the top of the house where my studio is. I tend to work all over the house really, um, for smaller work I sometimes come downstairs away from the studio and away from all that clutter and I quite enjoy making these smaller scale works uh, down here where it's um, a bit quieter and also um, there's no oil paint around. And we're gradually going to work our way up to the studio at the top of the house so you get an idea of the scale of the work and also what they might look like in the house as well. And here's the studio with all the essential paraphernalia that goes with it. So I alternate between um, drawing and painting all the time and they both seem to feed off each other uh, really um, and it's sometimes quite nice to have a break between the kind of black and white and go into colour and vice versa of course um, and I go from larger scale paintings uh, to smaller works on paper in oil um, some very quick works too um, and in between times I've been doing a lot of drawing. Um, uh, these are drawings uh, of Lincoln Cathedral um, and Winchester Cathedral and I've done a lot of drawings of York Minster. Um, but a lot of paintings uh, start quite slowly in acrylic and then gradually build up. Um, they're landscapes with figures in, um, figures with landscapes. Um, here are some big uh, uh, charcoal drawings with blue acrylic. These are six foot, approximately five foot by four foot uh, paintings. The figure keeps popping up um, and sometimes more obscured in some than in others. But I also do quite a lot of smaller scale work and then flit into more abstract pieces. I've been working on a series of drawings um, from Dorset um, and India. We went to India in January and um, I did a whole load of drawings. I think there's about a hundred drawings here from both Dorset uh, and India. These are 15 centimetres by 20 centimetres uh, pen and ink. Uh, there's some of Cornwall as well. But I like the line. I've been making quite a lot of smaller pieces, um, sometimes with a view to making them on a much larger scale but actually it's quite liberating just to make work on this sort of scale uh, because uh, 
you're freed from the sort of um, idea of having to make a monumental statement. Uh, so there's quite a lot of these kind of works and um, I do a lot of uh, small drawing, very quick drawings uh, just to get ideas out very quickly and also also to um, keep the imagination going. Um, on a larger scale it takes a lot of time to get these things done whereas on a smaller scale obviously uh, this is a very quick process. Again I'm drawing all the time. I like pen and ink. I like the black and white nature of it and the line and some washes of ink um, sometimes it's rather lovely to put down. My house is full of my drawings, some smaller paintings, drawings and paintings that are framed up and ready to go. Um, these are some drawings from a trip I did uh, to Avebury and I'm just trying to work them up somehow. Um, it was a very beautiful day, but there were some heavy clouds coming over. Ava Green Rooks is a lovely part of the world. I'm using charcoal here. I'll probably keep a figure in somewhere here, but I don't know exactly where that figure is going to go in relation to the stone. I like the physicality of drawing on this scale, um, the, mark, the mark making, but also just the gesture and the fact that it's something which is to do with how tall I am, how wide my arms are. And it keeps changing. That's the essence of the place, I think, but um, there's also a lot of invention going on here where the imagination and the, the black and the white start to feed off each other, I hope. There we go, there's a start anyway. <laughs>